everyone welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new my name's kenya and today i'm going to be doing a mukbang q a slash get to know me slash answering your assumptions whatever you want to call it and i thought i would do this video with a mcdonald's because mcdonald's is closing today it's open for the last day oh my god there's a fly Anyway, yeah, I'm filming this with a McDonald's because it's closing today before we go into lockdown. The view was actually horrendous. I put a picture of what it looked like to get in and they started cutting people off because that's how bad it was. So, yeah, I'm so glad that they've shot. It was, I feel like a hypocrite for saying this, but it shouldn't have been open. And I know I've been, but gotta do what you gotta do for the YouTube bits. I got some fries and hamburger and i also got some chicken nuggets i have shared them so i have only got 10 and nuggets which yeah i'm gonna eat and then i also got a mcflurry as well because i thought i'm not gonna be able to have one for ages and i got a coke what is that video yeah oh shit sorry <gasps> i need a mcflurry if mcdonald's shutting doesn't scream stay inside then i don't know what does but stay inside kids because we don't want the rona spreading so yeah i asked you all questions on instagram and i've already had a flick through some of them and yeah some of them are savage you think because people's names are on there that you wouldn't actually say these things but it's okay because i don't really know these people anyway so but the first question that i got was how old are you i'm 21 and yeah i don't know how else to answer that question i'm 21 born in september i actually love chicken nuggets i always think oh, i want to be a vegetarian but then i just love chicken nuggets that much oh my god i've seen that on twitter it's actually so true when girls get food the little dance that they do, like, it's not even a lie. Anyway. Next question. When did you start watching slash making videos? I have literally wanted to do YouTube for the longest time. Like, I even tried it when I was year seven with some of my friends. Because you're in school, everyone bullies you for it. So we're just like, control, alt, delete. That never happened. Which I kind of regret because... I just regret it. I just thought my time was now, so... Here I am. Cinnamon challenge, like that's how long ago it was. We did the cinnamon challenge, what else did we do? We did like, oh my God, we did like the in-betweeners dance, you know, like, oh my God, I'm not even like, I'm not even talking about it. Next assumption, you are so confident. Ha ha, ha ha. I wish I was, I might come across as that. Like people always say, I thought you was a bitch before I met you and I'm really not. I hate confrontation. I hate like arguing with people. It's so crazy what people think like just from looking on your Instagram because I'm just so not. If anyone knew me personally, you would know like I'm not the most confident person at all. Like it takes a lot for me to sit here and do this. I feel a little bit better now that it's like my third video and all the support I've had and stuff like that. But I was so nervous when I was filming that. So yeah. Next question. Who or what inspired you to make a YouTube video? I've always just loved watching it and I watch so many people on here. Off the top of my head, I literally cannot even say like who I watch, but let's have a quick look. I love Madison Sarah, Gemma Miles. I just wanted to do it as a hobby like i've wanted to do it for so long these are so cold now i don't really know what inspired me i just really like the thought of it and like i've got a little beauty business as well so i thought i could link it up with that which obviously when we're not in lockdown i'm gonna take some videos i'm gonna put them on like some tutorials and stuff like that I'll link the instagram below so you can go and have a look at it i want to talk with my mouth full I think it's so rude but whatever how many pets do you have mm, none i'm really sad about this because i really want a dog i really want a little sausage dog my mum's just never been a fan so we've just never had one which is sad but when i move out that's the first thing that i'm doing what is your dream job when i was younger i really wanted to be cabin crew like oh my god i'm gonna tell you this really embarrassing story so I think I was like 16 or 17 and I just left school and I used to work 
and um, I really wanted to be like cabin crew so I seen a job going I was like reading the job description and it said um, must know how to tread on water and I genuinely thought that meant walk on the water at the time I was like oh no I'm not applying for that because I can definitely not do that and then yeah a couple of months down the line when I told someone about that it was just like can you what the fuck <laughs> they're really embarrassing but that was years ago now next assumption you've had too much filler bitch i know and i'm not gonna stop either i don't get it done all the time i've only had my lips done bit of filler in my cheeks bit in my chin i wouldn't even notice if i didn't point that out um but no i don't think i've had too much filler i'll put a picture somewhere whatever whichever side um of what they used to look like so you can have a look and you'll notice the difference they look bigger when you've got lipstick on anyway which obviously i've got lipstick on in all of my videos so yeah i'll link the girl down below that i go to i'll link her ig down below her name is sherelle she's amazing i've been going to her for a few years now and yeah i wouldn't go anywhere else so i'll link her instagram down below you can go and check it out next what do you do in your spare time I don't really get a lot of spare time, but when I do, I want to say I go to the gym, but I really don't. I'll have like, one week I'll go like five days and then the next week I just won't go. And then the week after that I'll go like twice and then I just won't go again. But yeah, I, um, I'm obviously not going to be going to the gym going forward because it's closed. I sit and watch YouTube. I watch TikTok and yeah. How tall are you? I'm five foot three. I feel like I've been the same height all my life. Like, I feel like I've not really grown much since I was 12, but. Oh shit. What is your favorite animal? I'd say a dog. You're so confident. Uh, your boobs are fake. Some people would say I'm blessed, I would say I am cursed. I'm actually getting a breast reduction this year, which I'm gonna vlog. But yeah, no, they are real and I hate them. Like, there's nothing wrong with big boobs, but I'm literally a size six, so they just look abnormal. They make me look so fat in all my clothes and I just hate them. And it, yeah, touchy subject. Um. Next question, which I literally get asked all the time. Why did your mum name you Kenya? Is there a story behind it? There is no reason why I'm called Kenya. My mum's never been to Kenya. And whenever I ask her, she says, oh, I just like the name. Like, I don't even know how you even think about it. But yeah, it's unique. And I used to hate it when I was younger, but I love it now. Next question. Mm, what is your middle name? I am not telling you. Not a question. Just miss your banter. Hope you're good. Oh, Michael, miss you. What colour is your hair naturally? I am naturally blonde. I have been brown before and it was my biggest regret ever in my whole entire life. I've never been able to get my natural colour back, which is so sad. I just get highlights, get highlights, get highlights. But yeah, blonde is my natural colour and I will never, never dye my hair another colour ever in my life. I love brown hair, but it just doesn't suit me. I'll put a picture up so you can see what I look like with brown hair. Do you plan to go traveling anywhere? Yes, I really, really want to travel Southeast Asia. I want to go to Thailand. I want to go to Cambodia. I want to go to Singapore, Indonesia. There's so many places that I want to go. I'm planning on going to Thailand next year, providing obviously the world is a better place. Only for a few weeks, just to see whether I like it and then I'll decide from there what festivals have you been to and what was your favorite uk festivals i've been to dark life mm, i think that's the only oh creamfields leeds festival how did i forget my favorite uk festival is definitely creamfield abroad festivals i've been to off week festival in barcelona i've been to um oh my god why can i not think let me have a look on instagram Drum Code Festival in Amsterdam. I've been to Awakenings in Amsterdam. I've been to Connect Festival in Germany. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, Favourite abroad festival has got to be Drum Code. And this year I'm planning on going back to Off Week 
off Sona in Barcelona, Sona's festival in Croatia. It's at the same place that hideouts at. Hopefully they don't get cancelled, but I'm not feeling too hopeful at the moment. Next question is, where do you see yourself five years from now? I hate this question. Like, I just want to be happy. Like, it's so cringe and so cliche, but... Oh my god, is this wonky? I just want to be doing something that I really, really enjoy. I just want to be doing something that I love. I don't want to be waking up in the morning and thinking, I've got to go to this shit job that I hate and... This is me for the rest of my life. I want to have my own house with my little doggy and yeah, just be living comfortably. This food is so cold, but I feel rude eating on camera, even though this is what a mukbang is, but <laughs> it's not a very good one. Next question, do you edit your pictures? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know why I do that? I just feel like Instagram these days is just so... Instagram wasn't the way it was and everyone wasn't so perfect. I definitely wouldn't edit my pictures, but... You feel the need to because you feel the need to look perfect all the time and it's really sad but it's just the way that it is. I won't lie and say that I don't because I do. I did ask some more questions over on my beauty page which I'll link below. When did you start doing beauty? I actually started doing beauty two years ago. It was in March 2018. I just woke up one day and I thought I just want to do something different. What treatments do you offer? Brows, I do microblading, brow lamination, wax and tint, facials, dermaplaning, microneedling, all that jazz. And I also do gel nails and LVL lashes. What do you hate most about being in the industry? I hate the fact that everybody thinks that it's a competition. People just are so bitchy about it and yeah, just grow up because there's enough business for everybody. So there's no need to be a bitch about it. And what made you start KC Cosmetics? I have no idea. Um, I don't know, like, I really was not interested in anything beauty wise. And then now I feel like I've got a massive passion for it. And I'm so sad that all this stuff is happening now because I'm gonna have to close. I need to think about the health of people. And it's really sad for everybody who's like self-employed, who's having to close as well, especially if it's like your only source of income. What do you like the most about your job? My favorite thing about the job is definitely, there's a couple of things actually. I like meeting new people, getting to know new people. And like you actually, people are not just clients, like they become your friend, which is really, really lovely. And the second thing I like most is making people feel so much better about themselves. Like people come to me with really bad brows and we sort them out and they're literally so thankful. People cry, like people literally cry because you made them feel that good. If people have got like skin problems, if people have suffered with acne and you can do something to help them. Favourite cuisine? Indian. I don't think there's any debate between Chinese and Indian. Chinese is good, but Indian is better. Summer or winter? This is a hard one because obviously I love summer, but I love winter as well. I love like winter outfits, getting a new coat, getting all your jumpers, jumper dresses, tights, boots. I love summer because it's warm, everyone's happy and everyone's at the pub, you know doing British things and you've got all your holidays as well, which I literally live for my holidays. If they didn't exist, I don't know what I would do. What is your favorite animal? Doggies, of course. I literally love dogs. I think the human in dog body, literally. I can't wait to move out and just get a dog. You're very closed up. It's hard to know what you're thinking, if that makes sense. No, it doesn't make sense, but I'm gonna answer it anyway. Um, so I'm taking that as thinking that as like I don't really show my feelings or like I'm hard to read and yeah I agree like I do keep all my feelings to myself and as much as I know you shouldn't I do because I just feel these days like no one really cares about how you feel people just want a little bit of gossip so that they can go and talk to the friends about I'm just not about that life I've got a few close friends that I literally trust with my life and that I could speak to about anything and obviously I've got my boyfriend as well so you are rich no I'm not I literally work full time and I have my beauty business as well on the side so I'm literally non-stop seven days a week people say oh my god you've got so much money because I go on like a few holidays a year but I literally save up 
all my money to do so like i'm so unsociable i never go out and it's surprising how much you actually save through not going to the pub like don't get me wrong i do go out when it's someone's birthday or if it's like a big night i don't think i've got any other questions sorry if i missed anything but i don't think i have because a lot of the questions are repeated but yeah anyway that's the end of the video i hope you did enjoy it if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and leave comments in the comment section below what you'd like to see me do any hauls any beauty videos skincare is a really requested video which i am probably gonna film soon now that this is my third video i'm gonna get into more of a routine like my first video was on a tuesday my last video was on a thursday this video is on i don't know what day i'm gonna be uploading this but it's not on any of those days so i'm gonna stick to one day i'm probably gonna choose tuesday just because i like that day and yeah stay tuned thanks for watching Yes. Yeah, but I normally have my camera on that way and you've got it on that way and I went to do that but then it was like that. So what are you gonna do? Just... Nothing. Bye!